found, I'm going to try and find a little gap because we've got a camera. So I'm going to zoom past the vehicles and we're going to take this little gap over here. This is what's quite nice about having a zoom. Ah, oh, that is lovely. There we go. So we won't have a look at the boys just yet, but we will get to them eventually. But we've got one of the Sticks lionesses with her two cubs. This is actually a great spot in here. The quarry has collected quite a, quite a good amount of water. They look like they've already had a drink. They've got very wet chins, or very muddy chins at the moment. Oh no, the sticks are funny looking lines, unfortunately. They're not pretty like the Nkuhumas. But those cubs don't look too bad. They look like they've got full bellies. A little bit mangy, but not too mangy just yet. You can still see their ears are in relatively good nick. They always seem to be just a little bit patchy behind the elbow. So maybe these, these two have got a chance. Quite exciting. Hello, little ones. Let's have a good look at them when they stand up. Yes, they're actually not looking too bad. And this one has got exceptional eyes, don't you think? Beautiful yellow eyes. Yeah something in my mouth that doesn't taste very nice. Now there's also two Birmingham boys here. I haven't been able to see who exactly uh, they are just yet, but we will at some point we'll get a better view. Hello little one. Now I haven't even been able to see uh, if they're male or female, these two young cubs. I've only seen them very briefly a few times and most of the time it's always been just before the sun sets too. Now, consulting detective, you were actually wondering if we knew the sex of the cubs. No, we don't. I, I don't know. Um, but we'll try and have a look today. Seeing as though it's not going to get darker, it's going to get lighter. And then we'll have to see. Come on, little one, stand up. Ah, let's see if we get a good view. Are you a little girl or are you a little boy? She looks like it could be a female. It's obviously quite difficult at this age. They're only a few months old. So the older they get, the easier it'll become. I think this one just looks quite female-like. I could be mistaken. Very curious, and I think looking at the big male, you know what lions are like. The little ones, they always want to hang around with the boys. <laughs> yes, that is a little girl with a big belly like that. I cannot see any parts that would make it a boy. So there we go, one girl. Big full belly. You can see the belly though is a little bit uh, scraggly. Not the greatest looking. You can see a little bit of hair loss. But they're looking good. They really are looking healthy though. And licking like that, grooming, is a very good way to of course try and get rid of something like a bit of mange. He's keeping it nice and clean. And we've seen the Nkuhumas come back from it. Those cubs looked terrible at one point and they didn't let that stop them. So possibly this may be the litter of sticks that make it. But it is tough for them because most of the females have the mange. So as soon as they're born, they're being exposed to it. And, and that's obviously quite harsh for them at such a young age. Not having built up the immunities, not having... Um, all the different, first even the bacteria in its stomach to help f fend off viruses and all that type of thing. So they're definitely a little bit more uh, susceptible when they are young. But how's that pose? Big belly, legs out. That is very funny. <laughs> Have you ever seen a stomach so full? <laughs> now Stephen, you're wondering if they'll drink the muddy water that's behind them. They will indeed. I haven't noticed lions to be particularly picky when it comes to the type of water that they're drinking. Elephants seem to be the ones that prefer the clean water. And we've actually been seeing it quite a bit in the Mulwati. They've all been digging up holes. And you see the beautiful crystal clear upwellings of water uh, that are coming through the, through the sand. Lions, uh, not so much. And yes, you could see that it was muddy, partic uh, muddy particularly on the female. She had a very brown chin. But that's all right. They're used to, um, when they do drink or when they do eat, they eat a lot of grit, a lot of sand, soil, and it doesn't seem to bother them too much. Obviously in small quantities, you wouldn't want to eat a kilogram of sand, otherwise you'd find yourself in a bit of trouble. Now, even with this full belly, that lion instinct is now starting to kick in. 
I think you are so full you can barely move. Trying to stalk. A bit difficult to stalk when your stomach drags along the, the bottom of the ground. But luckily, sibling is also grooming itself. <laughs> now they're going to play. I hope they do play. We haven't seen playing lions for a very long time. Now, William, you're wondering if lions get hairballs. They do indeed, exactly like your cats at home, from grooming themselves, from when they're eating as well. They often ingest quite a bit of hair. So that's why you'll see them uh, munching away on grass, because grass helps induce vomiting, and then that way they're able to cough up those hairballs. But you do see a lot of it. Look at those bellies. I can't believe it. I don't know what they ate, and I obviously didn't see them. I haven't seen them for quite some time. I know Tristan saw them, and uh, I think they'd killed a warthog. But I think that they killed a warthog two days ago, if I'm not mistaken. So they must have caught something else. I mean, they look really, really fat. It's either that or Mom's milk is doing a really great job at the moment. This is really amazing. So now they're just having a little rest. That little one, though, is on, on the inquisitive side. Rangering closer and closer to one of the Birminghams. And once one of the other guards move out, we'll try and take a, a better spot. It's just it's quite difficult to see from one of the other angles. But I can only suspect that it'll be Tinyo and Mfumo that are here with the stick sprite. It was Tinyo mating uh, with one of the lionesses. But I haven't seen the other one. I've only seen... You, did you also only see one when we came in? Which is unusual because I don't think it's this female mating with the boy. So I don't know where the other lioness has gone. Maybe she's just sitting in front of the other car. Yes, you two play around. Act like little cubs, please. I think the reason why they look so lethargic at the moment and they can't move is really just because they've got those big bellies that are bursting at the seam. Let's see, and we'll try and also be able to see what the sex is of this one that is now grooming itself. <laughs> that is just the funniest position that they're sitting in. Now, Skip, you're wondering when the male lions will get their manes. So, Skip, it's actually quite a cool thing to watch if you follow the prides of lions because they start to develop very hairy sort of chest and neck. And you can normally start to see that at about between, I'd say, about eight months and a year. You start to see that a little bit. Oh, here comes the big Birmingham. That's why they're staring. That looks like Tinyo. Let's just see. He's going to his brother. Oh no, there's the other lioness. Ah, I thought there were two Birmingham. Maybe I've got mistaken and there's just the one female. I also can't see what you're looking at now. When I look at that lioness, I just see a, a tail sticking out from behind the car. That must be Tignor then. Maybe there's not two Birminghams. Okay, going to sit nice and close to her. And of course they have been mating. Um, so skip but it, 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 let me get back to the main question. The main, it doesn't just develop overnight, it takes a very, very long time. So even when you look at the Birmingham boys, I've seen Tignon and Fumo are really just getting their proper manes now. But it has taken quite some time. So it starts growing um, from a young age and really only once they get to about six years old, even six and a half years old, do they really have a full set of hair and, and at the biggest that it will get. But Nena, I think, has got... Nena and Utsuku have got the two most impressive manes out of the Birmingham boys. Yes, come, Fatty. Come and play next to us. Must be a bit difficult, as you can see, moving around on all that unlevel ground. It looks like that mud is quite hard as well. Yes, now stalk your sister. Oh, there we go. Now we might be able to see if it's a girl or a boy. No, not yet. Push, push them into the water. That's what I always love. And one day I want to see that when two little ones are playing about and they push each other accidentally into a puddle. Oh, oh. Not quite an Nkuhuma battle. Those little cubs were very rough. But again, I think it's maybe because they're just so full at the moment that they really don't have the energy to eat. That one also looks very girl-like. Is it or it could be a little boy? I can't 
can't tell just yet. There could be a yeah. Oh. What do you think, Jandre? I think it looks like a girl. I think we've got two little girls here. Now, Dr. Rob, you were wondering how many lions make up the Styx Pride. So, um, Dr. Rob, it was actually quite sad. When I first started working here, uh, there were three lionesses and there were eight cubs. But unfortunately, none of those eight cubs made it due to the fact that they all got most sarcoptic mange. It looked like they were completely burnt, if I can only describe it. There was not an ounce of hair left on their bodies. And unfortunately, like I was saying, at a young age, it is something very, very difficult to overcome. It was also during the peak of the drought, so the animals, the buffalo that they were feeding on, didn't have the greatest nutrients. Remember, we saw two of the Nkuhuma's, Nkuhuma cubs die of the white muscle disease. And uh, so far, it's the three females, these two new cubs, and then I believe that there's another set of two as well with one of the other lionesses. But when you're out in the bush and your bellies are quite full, sometimes a ball of elephant dung makes for the best toy. Oh, that's not that great. That is a crumbly piece of elephant dung. You never want to eat a crumbly piece of elephant dung. And we're going to hang around here for a little bit longer. There are going to be lots of guards that are going to come to the sighting, but we'll probably be able to see them once more. But let's go across to Byron, who's got something that these lions might like to eat.